Turkey and guinea fowl farming is the process of raising this poultry bird for the purpose of producing meat or eggs for money or food. Turkey, chicken, guinea fowl, dog and quail are all domestic birds that nutritionally and economically contribute to any country. Turkeys are kept or reared for meat purposes. Their meat is recognized as the leanest of all poultry species. Additionally, they are consumed by almost every country across the globe. A sexually mature female turkey should start laying in the 30th weeks of age. An egg laying period lasts for 24 weeks, starting from the day the first egg is laid. Guinea fowl, often referred as guineas, are game birds that are increasingly popular among keepers of small and backyard folks. Guineas are vigorous, hardy, and largely disease free birds. There are many reasons people raised guinea fowl. The birds sound an alarm whenever anything unusual occurs on the farm. While some people find this noise to be a nuisance, others find it to be an effective tool for protecting the farm and make guinea fowl the farmyard watchdogs. The loud noise of the guineas has also been seen or shown to discourage rodents from invading the area. Hello everyone. My name is Ogundi Kweade Dotson. I'm into poultry business. The name of my farm, the farm which I manage, is Mayawa Allied and Integrated Farms. Initially, when I started farming, I started with crop production. But at the time, it wasn't uh, really profitable. So I moved into poultry. I started with chickens. Subsequently, I added turkeys to them. So I learned that Guinea is also a lucrative business. And then at the time, we initially we had issues with the marketing, but eventually we were able to meet the market demands. The key merits of Guinea fowls and other and turkeys compared to chicken, quails, uh, other poultry birds. Uh, let me start by saying that Guinea fowls are rare birds, which makes them expensive in the market. Now, if you, if, if you, if you meet a farmer and say, why, do, why are you starting guinea fowl business? Why are you doing guinea fowl? Why, why are you not doing chickens? The farmer will tell you that, first of all, guinea fowls don't eat as much as chickens do. No matter the breed of chickens, guinea fowl eat less and they live longer. Trust me, you want to have guinea fowls on your farm just because these are one of the most intelligent birds on earth. Uh, guinea fowls also serve as security birds. If you need a, a kind of alarm, a, an animal alarm in your, in your farm, just have guinea, a guinea fowl pen in front of your, in front, uh, just by the side of your farm gate. And whatever visitor that comes in, every time a visitor comes in, guinea fowls make a lot of noise. And another advantage of rearing guinea fowl is that they have very tasty meat. The older the guinea fowl, the tastier the meat. I would also say that the demand for guinea fowl is, go is, is increasing day by day, month by month. And this is because of the increase in the cost of feed and the cost of chicken. So people have begun to move from chicken to guinea fowls because by the time you rear a guinea fowl to maturity and you, you start to sell, you are basically selling at the same price compared to chickens that are reared for meat. On the other hand, we all know how delicious turkeys are in the soup. These are very tasty birds, very Sweet is the word I will use, and soft too. The advantages of turkey is that a lot of people don't think about it this way, but they have a better nutritional composition compared to other birds. They have the best, actually. Uh, foreign turkeys are even bigger than the local ones. So the bigger the turkey, the more expensive it is. Unfortunately, the female turkeys are not as big as the male turkeys which means that people mostly prefer male turkeys most of the time. Um, advantages of turkey is that once they grow past uh, five, six weeks, your, your mortality reduces and then 
they don't eat as much as chickens do. But or even though they take a while, they take about eight months to maturity compared to guinea fowl, which takes six months, they are worth the weight. An average turkey would weigh somewhere between eight kilograms and 12 kilograms. For the female, they weigh less, between five kilograms and eight kilograms. Um, the market value of guinea fowl and turkeys are higher than normal chickens. And if you ask me why this is, I'll tell you that the reason is that turkeys are rare birds as well as guinea fowls too. And this is because of the hatchery process they go through. Unlike chickens where you can take uh, 20 viable eggs to the hatchery and you can get like 15 birds, day old birds back in return. In the case of turkeys and guinea fowls, it's not so. You, you can take like 100 pieces of eggs to the hatchery of turkeys and guinea fowls and all you're getting back is about 40 or maybe 30. And because of this outcome, it, uh, it increases the cost of uh, buying the old uh, turkeys and guinea fowls. So these are some of the advantages and the merits in a way. The ideal housing condition for guinea fowls and turkeys, it varies with uh, age. When you begin with day old guinea fowls, the breeding is quite similar at day old because they, they require a, a, a hot environment. Because when they are coming from the hatchery, they are coming from a hot oven. So when you bring them to your farm, you make sure before they get to the farm, you prepare a, a cozy environment, somewhere that is uh, above room temperature, meaning that it has to be warm. If it is not warm enough, then you create a warm uh, environment for them by, uh, by getting a charcoal pot. Then you put charcoal, you heat it up, and you place it right in the middle, depending on the quantity you have. Say you have 50 guinea fowl birds or 50 turkey birds, a charcoal pot is enough. If you start to get to about 200 of this, 200 pieces of guinea fowl birds or 200 pieces of turkey birds, you have to increase your charcoal pot to about two. And then the size of your, your breeding pen has to increase just a little bit. Uh, no matter what you do, try as much as possible to be below two, two meters square in size. Because the smaller the pen, the better for your birds at that day old stage. So as the time goes on, as they grow older, you, you have to increase the size of your pen because they get, they, your birds are getting fatter. This doesn't mean that you have to stop giving them heat because the, these birds are susceptible to weather conditions. The colder it is, the more dangerous it becomes for your birds. So you have to keep a warm environment, mostly at all times. At this stage, all you need to have is a pen with nets, which you can, depending on the, the location of your farm, you have, let's assume that your farm is, um, uh, is, is in a, an open residential area, somewhere where people, you, you know, you have a lot of neighbors around you. It's okay to use chicken wire mesh to guard the whole area. But these days, because of rat problems, people use the Boko Haram net to make their pen for day old birds. This is because the rats, they are tough. These are rats that eat through concrete walls, eat through chicken wire mesh, and then when they get into the pen, they eat your chickens, yes. These are cannibalistic rats. So they eat your chickens, they, they feed on them, they poison their water, they poison their feed, through the feces because when rats eat they leave feces behind and this is poisonous to your birds, your guinea fowl, your turkeys. So to protect them you have to have, you need a, a Boko Haram cage or a tough net, a tough uh, metal net to put them in and then uh, you set up the place with your drinkers. You can have a hanging plastic drinker or the, the sitting plastic drinker. You can also have a hanging feeder 
or the sitting or the tray feather. The tray feather is used between the, the ages of the, the one and two weeks. After that time, you can, it's better to change, to switch from trays to hanging feeders. This is because birds tend to waste food with trays. When they eat in, inside trays, they tend to waste food and it mixes with their, their feces, which in, eventually, you know, contaminates their feeding. And before you know it, you start having a lot of mortality.